Now let's go to the problems related to relevant questing. First is focusing on the identification of the relevant and irrelevant costs. So we have here Rosal Company, which owns a rice milling machine, purchased three years ago for 250000 with five years remaining life. So therefore, the total life of the machine from the time it was purchased three years ago uh, is eight years. So three plus the five years remaining the present book value or the carrying value in its books is 156,250 so it did not mention whether um, it has um, residual value but there is a resale value here but it's not automatic the uh, residual value so if you're going to compute uh, 250,000 divided by uh, 8 years is 31,250 per year. Okay, so 250,000 divided by 8 years is 31,250. This is your depreciation. So if it is it was purchased three years ago so 31,250 times three is 93,750 so the carrying amount would be 250,000 minus 93,750 so that's 156,250 okay resale value is what they estimated for that um machine now kung ilahan ng i baligya then the company is contemplating whether to replace this machine the replacement would be worth 500,000 so it's um more expensive than the old one it will have 5 years remaining life the same with the old equipment na 5 years na lang iyahang remaining life the new machine will generate the same amount of revenue so wala difference on the revenue so wala na siya apil sa ang decision making but the new one will decrease the variable operating cost mauto siya ang maka differ sa ilaha in terms of the uh, variable costs Based on normal sales volume of 20,000 units, the following are the uh, revenues and costs on both alternatives. So the old machine, if you continue to use the old machine, then you're not going to use the new machine. So on the new machine, you are going to dispose your old machine. Okay, so as you can observe here, your sales um, is the same. Okay, wala man daw, di man daw mausap. Okay, even if you buy the new machine, magka difference lang siya on the variable cost, which is in turn, this is a gain on your part kay nakuan imuhang cost. So, in effect, your contribution margin in the new machine will be greater by. 150,000. So, mas by 150,000. Then, for the other expenses, so for the old machine, your depreciation again, the straight line, 31,250. So, i-maintain na to, tong old machine, padayon ang depreciation ng 31,250. But, if you're going to use the new machine, you're going to dispose the old machine. So, mawala na itong 31,250 nga annual depreciation. Mapulihan siya o 100,000. So, musaka ang ato ang expense by, ilan may difference ano niya, 100, 100,000 minus 31,250. So, that's 68,750. So, in this part, or in this uh, area na to, that is a uh, disadvantage kaya nitaas man na to ang depreciation sa new machine for insurance, tax salary so wala may gi 
uh, mention here kung musaka or dili. So, muna siya nga, gi-assume nga same ng gihapon. So, wala siya change. Therefore, this is unavoidable. Okay? Unavoidable or irrelevant. Nganong irrelevant? Nganong unavoidable? Uh, it's irrelevant or unavoidable because whether you uh, continue your old machine or you, you, you use a new machine, you will still incur the same uh, cost. Now, let's go to the net impact. Okay, so pila man ang net impact niya. 150,000 minus 68,750. So you will get 81,250, which is the difference po ani niya. This one is in total. Kanin siya kung i side by side comparison. If you are going to look at this one, you would say that there's an increase um, of income by 81,250 annually. Okay. The book value of the old machine, however, is a sunk cost and not relevant to the decision. Kaya na naman to siya. Nag-exist na siya. The sales and fixed costs like insurance, taxes, salaries are also not relevant because they do not differ. If the relevant cost, taxes, and time value of money can be disregarded, the alternatives can be analyzed as follows. So, therefore, this uh, analysis, okay, this analysis here is good for one year, one year nga analysis. But how much should be, uh, how much should be the benefit of choosing the new machine so you have to project it over the five years ba? five years nga magamit tong machine that's why here what will be the savings for the next five years so that will be 150,000 times five years so that's 750,000 of course you have to consider your cash outlay here dili man ni maacquire ang new machine without buying it so, naakay magasto ng 500,000. Then, if you're going to buy the new machine and dispose the old machine, you can still sell the old machine for 100,000. So, this is a revenue, uh, revenue or a gain on your part. So, the net cash inflow here is 350,000. So, maunin siya ang imuha makuha in cash so the above computation will indicate that it would be a good move to buy the new machine because it would result to a net cash flow of 350,000 for the five year period so what are the approaches in an analyzing alternatives in non-routine decision you can use the incremental or the differential analysis approach or you can also use the total project analysis or the comparative statements approach. So the incremental or differential analysis approach contrasts choices by comparing differential revenues, differential costs, and differential contribution. So it focuses on the different the, the difference between the revenues the difference between the cost the difference between the contribution margin it has the advantage of showing only the relevant amount so ang kuha lang yun sa data is katurang naglahi so kung wala siya naglahi between the alternatives dili siya apilon sa kwintada katurang differential ang git take out so therefore all sunk and non-differential items are disregarded okay the second one is total project analysis so sa iyahang name in total so all items of revenue and cost data whether relevant or not they are presented both on the alternatives and then compare the net income results okay so to uh, better understand the difference between the two approaches so let's use this illustration so this illustration is on a special sales order 
order. So, Parton Incorporated, a manufacturer of rattan baskets, ordinary sells regular baskets for 32 pesos each. At the end of the, at the beginning, sorry, at the beginning of the year, 20x1 an exporter has offered parton 250,000 pesos for 50,000 baskets or 17.50 per basket so if you're going to uh, look at this statement diba? the selling price okay the selling price would be 17.50 okay uh, for the 50,000 baskets. So, mas obus. Okay? 17.50. This sale will not affect the regular business in any way. So, this is an additional, a potential additional income to the company. Why is it potential, ma'am? Did it do income? Because we, we cannot tell yet if naabagiginan siya sa kaningi offer sa exporter. Makagain ba taani kung ato ang i-provide tong 50,000 basket at a, at a price of 17.50 where you can ba, compare naman yung regular nga selling price nga 32 versus the 17,000 17.50 okay, 17.50 nga selling price. So layo-layo po sila, ba? So, muna nga, potential pa. Kaya wala pa man nato gi-consider itong mga costs and expenses. So, here now uh, are the other details. It will not change the fixed cost. So, the fixed costs are the same. It will also not require additional variable selling and administra administrative expense. Okay, so this is for the SNA. And it will put to use idle manufacturing capacity. So again, fixed cost same. Ang selling and administrative uh, nga variable nga expenses dili pa siya mausab. Kay maura man gihapon wala may madugang. And magamit pa noon tong ilahang excess capacity nga wala magamit. So the manufacturing cost of the basket is 20 of which 12 pesos is a variable cost. So therefore, okay, kung kwentahon ni mo pila man ang gasto para sa usaka basket, 20 pesos ang magasto. Onya, 12 ana niya variable so the remaining 8 mo na siya tong allocate for the fixed cost. So the following are the details on their usual uh, sales. So, 250,000 times 32. So, to the usual uh, sales nila. Okay. So, it's 8 million. And here are your variable and fixed expenses. So, their operating income on their existing um, sales is 1 million based on the December 31, 20x0 nga. Uh, data. So, the question here is, if you are parton, are you going to accept the offer? Okay? Kung ikaw si parton, masukot ba ka nga uh, imuha silang gamaan og 50,000 ka baskets for 17.50 each? So, kung initially, if you're not going to apply the relevant costing, makaingon gid ka nga, bala to good sa offer ni exporter. So, kung yung mga kwintahon, 32 minus 17.50, that's 14 pesos and 50 centavos difference. Lower, ba? So, kung makaunaw na ka, I can see kung ano niya, ang gasto sa kada basket is 20. So, lugi ko ani. So, ang question is, lugi ba kita? ba? Lugi ba kita ani? 17.50. That's why we're going to apply the relevant costing to determine more accurately kung mo okay ba ta or dili. So, using the differential analysis approach uh, na mentioned na niya earlier, that you're only going to take out the relevant information. So, unsa naman tong relevant information? Katong differential Revenue, differential costs, okay, differential 
uh, contribution margin. Ang sarap man itong maglahi. Okay? So, kung uh, mag... Um, kung sugot ka, kung sugot ka sa offer, that would be additional sales revenue, di ba? Ngano additional man, ma'am? Kay again, di ba, ingon man diri nga, this will not affect the regular business. So, pada yun tong ilahang regular sales. This is an additional. Mano siya special sales order. So, 50,000, di ba, man ito yung offer. Times 17.50. So, that's 875,000. Okay, so let's check. 50 times 17.50. Okay, that's correct. Next is, what would be your incremental variable manufacturing cost? What would be your additional cost for this one? Accordingly, diba, the variable costs um, in the absence of other information to the contrary, it is part of the relevant cost. Kay variable man good siya. So, mag-depend siya kung nagag-production, maduga nga niyong variable cost. Kung, kung makuan, makuan pa niyong variable cost. So, ano siya? Nag-vary. So, muna siya nga, ma-appeal yun siya sa uh, relevant cost. So, kung i-accept ang 50,000 baskets, that will incur additional, additional variable cost of 12 pesos each. So, 12 times 50,000 units. So, 600,000. Nga nung kanira man duha ang gigamit sa problem. Nga man tong uban, kadagan sa mga cost. Ani. Because these are only the items that will differ. Diba? The fixed cost does not change. The fixed cost um, will be the same. The variable selling and administrative will be the same. Sa muta tong mga fix, other fixed expenses. And they are fixed whether na akay additional sales or wala. So, the expected increase in operating income would be 275. So, therefore, di, di talugi 17.50. Diba? At first glance, you would say, good nga, hala, bara 200 gold, 17.50 ang ilahang offer. Unya, tag 32 ba yan ako ni ibalik ya outside? So, dilit na lang ko. But remember, whether or not you're going to accept the special sales order, dili man mausabi mo hang uh, regular nga uh, production, hindi mo siya makuhaan. Diba? So, dili siya makapikto. So, kanila yung dili mo hang tanawin kung makabenefit ba ka kung mag-extra effort ka for the additional units. If you're using total project analysis, as you can see here, uh, it's more detailed because we're going to present all the revenues and expenses and costs on both alternatives or on all alternatives. So, kita yun ito itemize yeah, pag total project analysis. So, you can see the total, mani siya, 875, 600, 275. Diba maura siya? Diba mo ni siya differential? Okay. So, in total, so, maunin niya siya itong nag-differ. Because, actually, maura man sila ang naglahi. Diba? Kana sila. So, the, the rest are irrelevant. Okay? So, maunin siya sa differential approach. Kani, kung ganahanta nga i-detalyado, pwede naman sa. Okay? So, there's an increase by 275,000 if you're going to accept the offer. So, tubag sa pangutan na. If we're going to answer the question, should Parton accept a special order at a sales price of 17.50? That would be yes, because it will give us additional or incremental income of 275,000. So it's not a bad idea to accept the offer. In fact, we will gain more. So, in making decisions, especially on the previous example on the special sales order, we need to consider not only the short run, but also the long run. Okay, so there are um, other factors that we need to take note of in making our final decision. So, questions such as, what will be the impact on the customers? Should regular customers find out about the special price? You can recall, diba, 
the regular customers will be paying 32 pesos and this special order will cost the buyer only 17.50 diba so the regular customers if they know about the special price they may complain diba because they paid more uh than another customer for the same item diba? same quality same size okay? same features so of course the um customers will will not be happy diba nga mas barato tong palit sa uban nga customer compared to them and how will your competitors also react na so not only your customers but also the other players in the market so it is therefore possible that although the order will yield a positive result there will be an income of 275,000 the sales manager may reject the order to protect its long run market position Kaya ba sigma lain ang imuhang mga regular customers once they learn that you allow other customers to buy your products at a cheaper price. So rejecting the order is like investing 275,000 pesos in the company's long run future. So you value more your customers than uh, profiting more on the special order if you like this video don't forget to click like subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons thank you for watching